Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, we are going to take a look at the Q collection. So the Q collection is very similar to a stack. So if you haven't watched, it, watched that tutorial, feel free to go back. Once you're done, I'll be waiting right here. Okay, you're back, so pretty cool. Okay, so a Q or a stack, I should say, is last in first out, so the last item added is the last, I mean, the first one to be removed, if you were to, you know, remove it. And when you access it, it's in reverse order. The Q, a Q is, you know, the exact opposite. Think of it in real life. You go to a shop, there's a queue of people. The first one that is in the queue will be the first one served. It'd be very weird if the last one in the queue was the last one served. And I don't think many people will be happy if that was the case. Nobody would actually, you know, want to be lining up because that would be one, want to be the last one. So a queue, very, very much like how it is in real life. First one in, first one out. So FIFA, first in, first out. And the code is actually very similar in many ways to a stack. So again, if you haven't watched that video, go back and take a look at that. Okay, so one of the changes that we're gonna do, and this is an, this is an optional change, is we're gonna rename it from SDK to just sort of, you know, Q. Um, but the actual, of it is right here. So we need to change the data type from stack to queue and change this as well. Rename it everywhere that we name it. So like so. Ignore the red line for now. We will deal with that in a moment. I'm gonna get a red line here because the methods are slightly different. So to add something, so I'll actually comment this out for now. To add something to a queue, instead of pushing it, you use a method called nq. So on queue, so let's, okay. So that's the method right there. So if I copy that and just paste it here, like so. And now if I was to run it, it gets printed out one, two, three, four, five. And it's in the exact order that it was added. Whereas a stack, if you were to add these items, you'll print it out as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is first in, first out. Now let's actually start removing some of the data. So if I uncomment this, and set a pop, it's called deck, the queue, you could say, not deck, the queue. And this will remove the first item in the queue. So after the queuing, the queuing, this one's like a very weird word, the queuing. I'm not too sure if I spelled that correctly, hopefully I have. And now if I run this, as you can see, it just says four and five. So when we call the, the queue method here, it removes one. When we call it here, it removes two. And when we call it for the third time, we remove the third item. So again, FIFO, first in, first out, whereas the stack is last in, first out. Apart from that, the methods that you can use, for example, you know, checking if it contains something, the property to see how many values it has, so the count property is all the same. I'll provide a link so you can check all of that out. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.